there's a line bouncing around on this screen you can see it quite clearly but if you pause the video at any point during these opening few seconds you'll see that there is no line so what's going on well keep watching and I'll show you so this is an interesting effect that I first noticed way back in the 80s playing around with the home computers at the time and uh, so what happens is each time I press a key here a line gets drawn on the screen where a whole line of pixels get changed from black to white to make the line but if a line crosses a line that's already there then the white pixel that was already there gets changed back to black which you can see happening a few times here and as I draw more and more lines on the screen more and more of the screen gets filled with white pixels but more and more of them get changed back to black and we end up with this more or less random pattern of black and white dots covering the whole screen so the weird thing now is that even though when I draw a line there's no physical trace of it left there's no visible straight line anymore because it's just random noise but for the split second that the line is drawn your brain can see it and it's some sort of persistence of vision effect where your brain spots the uh, the whole line of pixels changing from black to white or from white to black and you register it as a line in your vision but as soon as you try and look closer it's gone it's just not there anymore so there isn't really a line in your vision at all you're not seeing a line you're seeing a line of pixels changing from one state to another and your brain still registers that as a line and I can start this uh, bouncing line animation going again and you can see the bouncing line flying around around the edges you can still see a little bit of a line appearing but it soon gets swamped by the randomness and you get just the the same line but no line effect and once again you can pause the video at any point here and you won't see any line although it's clearly there as it's moving around and this even works quite convincingly with this uh, 3D cube just bouncing around the screen here. I can move it around different parts of the screen, move it up and down, zoom in and out a little bit. But the same effect works pretty well. You can definitely see the 3D cube spinning around, but if you just pause this video at any point while I'm talking here, if I don't mind, just go ahead and pause me, you'll see there's no visible cube on the screen. It's only there when it's moving. So I don't know if this is a known effect or what it's called, if it's kind of been researched or whatever, but uh, it's pretty interesting. So I hope you found that interesting, and give me a like and a comment if you did, and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.